Hello, good day again. This is Andrew and welcome to PLC Programming Training for Beginner Part 8. Now, let's start. Exercise 1. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Lamp 1 will turn on if PB1 is pressed two times. Lamp 1 will turn off if PB2 is pressed. Let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1 and let's press PB1 again and lamp 1 will turn on. Now let's press PB2. Lamp 1 will turn off. Now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that you can resume the video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. As you can see here, we have a set value of 2 and we have the count value here. Let's press PB1. The count value increases. Then let's press PB1 again. And because the count value is equivalent to the set value, counter will turn on. And that will cause the normally open contact of counter 0 to turn on. And because of that, Y0 will turn on. Now, when we press PB2, counter 0 will be reset. And that's it. Now, let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 2. Create a PLC program given the following condition. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Lamp 1 will turn on if PB1 is pressed. Lamp 1 will turn off if PB2 is pressed two times. As you notice, this exercise is the opposite of our previous exercise. Now let's press PB1. Lamp 1 turns on. Now let's press PB2. 1. Let's press PB2 again. And that's it. Now I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this exercise. Let's press PB1. Y0 will turn on. And as you can see, there's a latching here. That's why Y0 will not turn off. And the only way to turn it off is by turning on C0. And to turn on C0, we need to press X1 two times. One, two. And because C0 here is activated, the normally closed contact of C0 here will turn off and the normally open contact of C0 here will turn on. If the normally closed contact here of C0 turns on, that will make counter 0 to reset. And that's it. Now let's go to our next exercise. Exercise 3. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. You have two push buttons and one lamp. Lamp 1 will turn on if PB1 is pressed two times. Lamp 1 will turn off if PB2 is pressed three times. Now let's have our demonstration. Okay, that's it. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. This will be my answer to this problem. Let's press PB1. Okay. After pressing PB1 two times, the counter here turns on because the count value is equivalent to the set value. And now to turn it off, we need to press PB2 three times. Up. 
after pressing PB2 three times, C1 will be activated and C1 will reset both C0 and C1. That's how we solve exercise 3. Okay, let's have our exercise 4. Create a PLC program given the following conditions. We have two push buttons, one selector switch, and one lamp. If selector switch is on, lamp will turn on after pressing PB1 two times. If selector switch is off, lamp will turn on after pressing PB1 four times. Lamp will turn off if PB2 is pressed. Okay, let's have our demonstration. Let's press PB1. Because our selector switch is on, we need to press PB1 two times. We already pressed it a while ago. Okay, that's it. Then, let's press PB2. Now, let's turn off the selector switch. Let's press PB1. And that's it. Now, let's press PB2. Okay. Now, I want you to post this video and try to solve it by yourself. Then after that, you can resume this video so that you can compare your answer to my answer. Okay, let's continue. Okay, the selector switch is on. Let's press PB1. Let's press PB1 again. And because C0 is activated, normally close C0 here will turn on and that will cause Y0 to turn on here. Now let's press PB2. Because PB2 is pressed, C0 and C1 will be reset. Now let's turn off the selector switch. Then let's press PB1 four times. And because C1 is activated, the normally open contact of C1 here will be activated and that will cause Y0 to turn on. Now let's press PB2. And C1 will be reset. And that's it. That's how we solve exercise 4. I hope you enjoy watching this video. And please wait for the next episode of my tutorial. And that's it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please click the notification bell to notify you for new video. Please uh, like and share my YouTube videos. And please like my Facebook page, the Gizgon Mechatronics Engineering Skills Tips, Tricks, and Learning. And please click see first on Facebook to notify you for new posts. And uh, thank you again. See you next time.